Man, oh man. Has this year been crazy in the NBA, man? I think this is probably the craziest um, NBA free agency that I've ever witnessed. And I do put this ahead of the LeBron going to Miami thing. Because what Kevin Durant did this summer was crazy. Like, I didn't think Kevin Durant would just turn to a full-on bandwagon and just leave Oklahoma for Golden State. No one, they had the chance to beat him. Oklahoma clearly had the chance. In my head, I really did get tired of Kevin Durant throughout that series because I was just watching the games and, like, I don't know which game it was, but I remember it was the fourth quarter and he took, like, seven shots and missed them all. So I'm like, just stop passing him the ball and give it to Westbrook. In my head, that was Westbrook's team last year, and it was the year before that as well. So Kevin Durant leaving, I don't know what the point of that was because I feel like he could have got, I don't think he could have got a ring with them because LeBron's still there. LeBron is in Cleveland, and as long as LeBron's in the league, I don't see Durant getting no ring. But, um, well, that has to change now because now it's Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Draymond Green, which I don't know how the fuck these niggas have the money to pay for this shit, but I don't know, man. And some other crazy stuff, man. I'm a Bulls fan. Pretty sure I told y'all that before. And we got rid of Derrick Rose, which was the heartbreaker for me. But we picked up Rondo. I can I never really liked Rondo because he used to play for the Celtics, so I've always hated him. And um, we also picked up the man Dwayne Wade, which was also crazy in his fucking self. Like I never seen Dwayne Wade leave in Miami. For that to happen, is fucking crazy. I can't believe the Heat would even put Hassan Whiteside as a priority over Dwayne Wade. And um, Dwayne Wade leaving is honestly a sad thing for a lot of Heat fans because he was the pri- he was the only reason why you would be a Heat fan for real. Everybody just loved the player Dwayne Wade was. So um, hopefully Chris Bosh does something with his career now. Everybody's been talking about LeBron and Wade went home, so Chris Bosh should as well. But the funny thing about that was I was seeing an Instagram post and it had when he should go home. They had a picture of Jurassic Park on there. I don't know why that was so funny at the moment. But, um, players going home is the thing right now. Even Dwight Howard went home to Atlanta. He went to the, um, Atlanta Hawks, which was crazy. I didn't think Dwight Howard would have went there out of all places. For some odd reason, I seen Dwight Howard going to Boston. Well, end up being Al Horford going to Boston. I don't think Al Horford's really going to fit there. I don't, I just never liked Al Horford as a player. I felt like his defense wasn't always wasn't good enough ever for me. Then again, I've, I've always liked Dwight Howard. Even though he left, he has a bunch of problems. I feel like when Dwight Howard is comfortable, he's, he's going to be back to the Orlando Magic Dwight Howard. It's going to be a scary sight. Because Dwight Howard is an amazing center. And um, what else happened in the NBA? Oh yeah, the Summer League games have been going on a lot lately. And um, the one that just... Um, one that just started was the um, Lakers and the Clip, not the Lakers and the Clippers. Lakers and 76 is D'Angelo Russell going off handles two clutch back to back threes, getting the win for the Lakers, man. I hope Brandon Ingram does good in the league. I hope D'Angelo Russell fixes his problems because D'Angelo Russell is a really amazing player. I used to watch him all the time at Ohio State, man. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video, man. And all hopes, good luck to the Lakers, man. But it's your boy Day God, man. I'm up out of here, man. Let's just hope my Bulls do good this season, man. Better than last year, at least. Please make it to the playoffs.